welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth. This is The Joyful Sojourn, and in today's video, I am flipping through a new sticker book, and I'm going to use this sticker book in my planner. So let's get down to it. Um, this is, I honestly don't remember what this sticker book is, but it is from Amber Plans Her Day. And I'll open this guy up. Hold on. I've released information in the packaging. First of all, let me just say, really cute. Um, Amelia put this sticker down. So that really kind of customizes the experience or at least reminds us that when we are purchasing items from these small shops, these are real people that are um, providing for their families through this business. And I always like to see that customization. So Amber plans her day. This is spring essentials and this releases on Friday, February 23rd at 8 a.m. Mountain Time. That is 9 a.m. Central Time. This is a 40 sheet sticker book. So a typical sticker book is 30 sheets. This is 40 sheets, which means it's also going to be a little bit more expensive. It's going to be $30 plus shipping, but Joyful 10 will save you a few dollars. So Joyful 10 at checkout will save you 10% off of your purchase. This was sent to me for review and to flip through for you guys so that as I always say, I can be your hands uh, in experiencing new product. Um, since you're not able to buy it in a store, you can experience it through me and decide whether or not this is something that you want to purchase. So Amber Plans Her Day, Spring Essentials, releasing on February 23rd. Let's get into it. Spring Essentials means it's going to be all things spring. Like, are we all, wait, can you guys see? Zoom out just a little bit. Tulips. I love tulips. These are watercolor tulips and they are clear. So clear decorative stickers. We have one sheet. So it looks like we're not going to have duplicate sheets. So one full sheet of clear watercolor tulips. It's really pretty. Then we have springtime trees with lots of pretty blooms on them. These are clear. I like the different sizes for creating different looks, different spreads. Then we have St. Patrick's Day. And this is kind of a fun way to do it. It's more like kind of like retro pastel -y for St. Patrick's Day. Really pretty butterflies. These are all clear so far. I like the colors on these too. Almost like, can these? I kind of feel like you could mix and match, um, mix and match some of these pages. Throw little butterflies in on your St. Patrick's Day week. We have springtime bicycles, cruiser bikes with flowers, all different sizes and colors. Cute little ducks with tulips or water. What are what are these called? They're not tulips. They look like tulips, like water. Not uh, water irises. I don't know. Whatever the lilies, water lilies, lily pads. I don't know. If you know what these are called, let me know. But this is really pretty. I like the diff different ducks. Okay, this is totally different aesthetic. We've got some like spring uh, showers in pinks and purples and I was going to say like jewel tones, but not really. These are definitely more pastel. I really like this sticker with the raindrops. Uh, looks like that's Zandaya. Probably not. Kind of looks like her. Then we have our springtime flower market stickers. Really fun for creating a little scene. And as I'm looking through these, I'm already like trying to figure out what stickers do I want to use. We've got... Uh, like flea market, food market, There's some charcuterie, fresh eggs and, and veg. So if you're someone that goes to fresh markets, I went to markets all the time when I lived in Seattle. Um, this would be such a fun, ooh, like with the jams and jellies, this would be a fun page to use if you were going like on a Saturday to a market. Kind of decorate that way. Then we've got lots of springtime gardening stickers in that kind of classic succulent 
You know, I feel like I need to go backwards. Hold on. I know. Let me go backwards just to show you the detail of the stickers. Sometimes it's easier to really like get in there, you know, for you guys to see what I'm looking at. So I think I'll, I'll lift it up more. Sorry I didn't do that at the beginning. It's been a hot minute since I've, I've shown a sticker book. But here you can see the designs. All of these deco stickers have been clear so far, which means the colors have been very vivid and rich. Ooh, now we've got kind of a more feminine pink sheet you can create a spread with. A little bit of scene, scene action. Spring cleaning, but in pastels. Ooh, look at the stationary door. Nice. Much more exciting than cleaning supplies. But one of my most popular uh, spreads was using cleaning supplies and I made it look all like fun. So these will be fun stickers to use. Then we've got whimsical Easter with Easter eggs and a chocolate bunny. Yes, 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 yes. We have real Easter, well, for me, the real meaning of Easter. Um, and we have them in sticker form. So we've got different forms of Jesus, the donkey, a uh, dove, prayer, prayer hands, the tomb being rolled away, the cross, of course, um, the crown of thorns. Let me just get up in this. I love, 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 love. Let me see if there's a second one. There, I love that. Okay, because here's the thing. Very easy to find this type of Easter stickers out in the sticker world. Very difficult to find Christianity Easter stickers. I don't even know how to say that properly, but like Easter, like the reason we celebrate Easter for real on sticker form. I love that. Makes me want to decorate for Easter in this video, but maybe I should wait because that's several weeks out. But I love seeing Easter stickers. I think that was a very bold um, and right choice for Amber to throw that, especially because this sticker book is a big sticker book for spring and to give, you know, one page for um, a religious holiday in here that is meaningful to so many of us, I think is really great. So excited to see an Easter sheet, Amber. Very excited to see that. I support that. Um, and yeah, I think it, I think, yeah, I think that was really great. I don't know what else to say. I'm just really excited to see it. All right, Mother's Day, something typically in the spring. So we've got mom stuff. Again, clear deco stickers. Very pretty and cute. Now we have clear quotes about spring. I'm not going to read all of these. Maybe I should. Spring adds new beauty, grow kindness, plant, grow, bloom, April showers, bring May flowers. Anyone who says sunshine brings happiness has never danced in the rain. I find peace in the rain, dance in the rain. The, the sun always shines after the rain. So we've got rain stickers down here. Memories last a lifetime. The seeds you plant today will be the flowers of tomorrow. Time to bloom. Rom robins, sunshine, daffodils, raindrops, and spring. And then these are just extra little kind of deco texture pieces to fill in the page. And I like that she does that. One sheet of those quotes. Then we have a second sheet of different quotes. Bloom where you are planted, where flowers bloom, so does hope. The first blooms of spring always make my heart sing. So all of these really correspond with the deco stickers we've already seen. Like the buy local, farmer's market, farm fresh. There's sunshine in my soul. A clean home is a happy home. So going with the cleaning stickers. Love grows here. Cleaning and organizing is a practice, not a project. Change is beautiful. Smell the flowers. Hello spring, lucky bunny kisses and Easter wishes, hippity hoppity, follow the bunny, he has the chocolate, peep my basket, it is finished, so that'll go with our Easter sheet to be the sunshine, to keep your balance you must keep moving, life is a beautiful ride, pinch back, come to, okay, so <laughs> I had to pause for a second, this is a 40 sheet sticker book and we have had zero repeats so far. And usually with a 30 sheet sticker book, there are duplicate pages. 
and this is every sheet is a different design so you are getting a massive bang for your buck with a sticker book like this come tiptoe through the tulips with me be a tulip in a field of weeds there are no ugly ducklings i just really like ducks be like a duck calm on the surface but always paddling underneath i talk about this a lot in my job like with my coworkers. um basically that I'm a duck. You might, you might see me on the, you know, on the top and you don't know there's a flurry of activity going on underneath the surface. Your wings already exist. All you have to do is fly. You don't just wake up and become a butterfly. Growth is a process. Loving, strong, selfless mom, mom of the year, mom turned upside down is wow. Set yourself free, beauty, freedom, transformation. Ooh, we have spring bucket list items. Celebrate Mother's Day, flower market, dance in the... So all of these kind of correspond with the deco stickers. Farmer's market, St. Patty's Day, decorate eggs, visit a park, feed the ducks, go on a hike. Then we have memory keeping words, which is great for memory keeping, of course. Remember, so much fun, documented, the best, write it down, snapshot, cherish, best day, sweet memory, loving this currently on this day. The story, so much happy, happy day, time well spent, captured details today, perfect day today was, the favorite part, and then extra um, stars going down the center. Ooh, now we're getting into paper. Feels like the rest of these are paper. So how many of those were clear? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 21 clear sheets of deco and quotes. And now we're getting into paper. I love these. These are just like, like paint swatches, but with some spreckle, speckle in it, which makes it look like it's glittery, but it's not. It doesn't have the shine of glitter, but it has the impact of glitter. This, we do have two sheets of these. And then we have functional double boxes here, but these are like memory keeping boxes because they're cut twice. So the first cut is here, so you can use this inner box. Uh, and then it's cut here where you can use it like a frame on its own. Or you could do like a cool layering thing, which kind of makes me want to play a little bit today but you could do them separately or you could do them together so really three possibilities if you can get the whole the two cut pieces together that might be kind of hard so I'd look at it as two stickers then we've got some more headers down here for memory keeping two sheets of those so the paper sheets are going to be duplicated wait we're back to clear what okay this book <laughs> does not follow the rules and I'm not mad at it okay so we went from like deco tons of clear deco stickers about all different things related to spring we have several quote sheets clear then we have some functional double boxes and now we're back to deco with some clear florals for spring we have two sheets of these and these are duplicated and then we're back to our more traditional oh my goodness back to our more traditional boxes bullets checklists that match the florals and then you get a second sheet of those boxes these are more for journaling memory keeping we've got some header uh, header words um, currently words loving feeling reading watching this week today errands to buy remember canceled must do and chores and then back to clear um, spring is here hopelessly in love with spring no rain no flowers let the rain fall so that the sun can shine Time to do what makes your soul happy, dance in the rain. The next time for new beginnings is now, or the best time for new beginnings is now. Always growing, nothing in nature blooms all year. Ooh, these are pretty. I've got a different floral style with these guys. Very pretty, these are clear. Two sheets, are these the same? These are the same. But just to compare the florals so you can see them a little bit better, just go backwards. Totally different styles. So these are more kind of like watercolor florals. And then these are more like, I want to say cartoony, cartoony florals. But very similar colors. You probably just wouldn't want to wouldn't want to mix um, just because the designs are so different. 
Then we've got our functional boxes, checklists, and bullets. Our double boxes with our currently words. More spring quotes. These are clear. And then our third set of flowers. These are much more bright and light and watercolor. Two sheets of those. And then boxes that match with the um, bullets and checklists are double verticals, currently words, and then our quotes with bonus flowers. That's clear. What a very interesting sticker book. I have some of the other essential sticker books that she's done, and I don't think they have the same layout. So I actually really like that she kind of put like color story flowers in the back. So here's your first your first set of color story florals. And then your second set of color story florals. And then lastly, your third set of color story florals. And then you've got several pages of memory keeping bucket list stuff. And then 21 unique pages of quotes, holidays, spring cleaning, gardening, all the things for spring. So calling it spring essentials, I think is pretty accurate, I'd say. Let's get to decorating. And I'm going to do some decorating in my Hemlock and Oak planner. This is the minimal planner. So it's a little bit smaller than the standard weekly planner for 2024. And I'm going to jump into, do I want to jump into March? No. Do I want to do my February March overview or do I want to do my last week in February? I think we should do, or do we want to jump all the way over to uh, Easter? I kind of want to go here. We're going to go here. We're going to do the week of February 26th to March. No, do we want to do that? Or do we want to do February 19th to February 25th? The sticker book releases on this day. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the week of February 19th. Okay, so now we just have to decide what sticker, what stickers we wanna use. To be honest, I have a very strong preference for the ducks. <laughs> Too much? I kinda don't think so. I just think they're adorable. And, uh, you know, I love showing you guys how to put maybe things that don't seem very typical next to each other. I think we could probably do some of these um, trees as well, right? I mean, just to add a little bit of pink. So we've got some blues and greens, a little bit of pink. I think we can do that. So I am going to do that. Now, as far as layout goes, this is an hourly layout and I haven't really been relying on the hourly layout much lately um, because I just don't need it right now. When I have a period of time in my life where I need to do hourly blocking, I will. But in this particular moment in time, I actually really just want uh, to be logging food stuff and to do's for the day. So I'm gonna find a pen. I don't know if I wanna do, do I wanna use my uni one? This is a 0.38. I guess we could do a 0.38. She's really thin, but I'm gonna go ahead and do this. So for the, maybe until nine o'clock, how do I wanna do this? Hold on, this is gonna be interesting. We're gonna do something a little different. I'm going to use some of these bullet stickers. Let me go to the bullet stickers. 
and see. I want to see how big they are. I'm just going to check all of these collections. See if there's a color. Maybe the yellow. And I want to see if... Will they cover two? They're going to cover two. So I'm going to do... this. And I'm going to have to change. Ooh, or wait for it. If I want to do a checklist and cover up the, um, sorry, that's my dog. Should we see how the checklists work? What if we do a checklist? Let's do that. So I'm going to use these checklist stickers. And do we want to change colors? Let's go back, back to the ducks. There were, were there not boxes? Maybe there weren't boxes. I'm starting to forget because I saw so much stuff. I think the boxes were just towards the end. Okay, so let me go back here. I don't think I want the pink, but I could do the green. So I'm gonna go back and forth between the green and yellow. And I'm gonna try to line this up as best as possible. Going back and forth between the green and the yellow. This is gonna be dinner, different. I haven't haven't decorated quite like quite like this before with this planner using these checklists, but it makes sense because it does help me cover up the uh, the timing. So I'm not mad at this idea. And hopefully have enough of the yellow. Were there more yellows? <gasps> Hold on, might need to switch. There's like peaches. Well, I guess green, green. I put this in the wrong spot. Do we go with peach? Let's see how the peach the other option was these guys that are, you know what, let's go with the, this is gonna be kind of weird, but I'm gonna do this lighter pink. I did not arrange these correctly. Hmm. Let's see. I wonder if, I can pick up this guy gently and throw him over here. So I was thinking I would use these checklists for like my priorities for the day, but now I'm kind of wondering if they should actually be my breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks. Hmm. Let me think about that for a second, if there's gonna be enough space. I really, really have been wanting to pay more attention to what I've been eating. Because when you write down what you've been eating, you cannot deny, especially when you're honest, you can't deny looking back at the end of the week and doing like a full reflection of like, mm, like are these really things I should be putting in my body? You feel me, guys? You feel me? Let's go back. I'm gonna think about that for a hot minute. Let's go back to the ducks. No, let's go to the trees first. I think I want to, do I wanna do like artwork here? 
and then have the rest of the stuff down here. I know that'd be kind of weird, but could also be awesome. There's no rules when it comes to your planner. If you're not using the time blocking, the hourly blocking, and you've got these numbers here, just pretend like they're not there, which I know can be kind of tricky. I am going to have a hard time, I think, doing this in the middle. So I'm going to, hold on. I want washi tape. Wait for it. What kind of washi tape? Maybe this gray washi tape, just to add a little something, something. This is from the washi tape shop. That might be doable. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this guy. So I just like to add a little washi tape in all my spreads. I don't know why, I just feel like it makes it make sense. So I'm going to pull this guy off. This is one of those tapes that has paper on the back, which means it's more work for me, well, for all of us, peeling off the back of washi tape. Not my favorite. I'm going to, should we do a little rippage? Side rippage, sure. Is it a plan with me using washi tape with Elizabeth if I haven't ripped the washi? Probably not. Okay. And I'm gonna put this pretty much along the edge. Maybe here all the way down and then rip off the bottom. Then we'll go back to this big old tree. I can lift this guy up, there we go. She got a little crinkled, but we're gonna rock it anyways and lay the tree down. Just like that. <laughs> so pretty. This is a bone, it's a paper folding tool and I use it to scrape in my clear stickers, removing that air between, the space between the paper and the sticker. Cute. Um, do we wanna throw in a little pink or do we want to, hold on a mo, hold on a mo, wondering how, how we can incorporate our ducks. So, I'm all about like things making sense and this tree is clearly smaller than the duck situation. But the justification is that the tree is further away, you guys. The tree is further away than this pond moment that we are having between these ducks. I don't want to. Hmm, these waters are a little different. Can we bring them together? Hmm. Dare we? I kind of think we dare. I'm gonna really stick that into the center and hope. No, so this guy's gonna be a little wrinkly. Let's try again. Sticking that one down. <sighs> Cute. And then, do we connect this guy? Okay. 
Okay, this one is going to need some trimmage. So I'm gonna create a flat edge here and try to connect there. Hey, you know what? I don't know what it looks like on camera, but I will say sitting in front of it, this looks pretty flawless in person. You're just gonna have to take my word for it. It looks flawless. Let's get these guys all pressed in. All the way down. And then, let's go back to the trees. We need pink, right? Because we introduced those pink um, uh, checklists. So we're gonna grab this this guy. But hmm. I think this is gonna have to be in order for this to make sense, it's gonna have to be a little bit further back. And before I do that, then let's add. some washi. I'm going to try peeling this first before taking the backing off. And I kind of don't want it to be as tall as the other side. It's going to be a bit not symmetrical, but okay um while i'm here i have a question for you guys so i have been wanting to set up my like a go wild kind of journal memory keeper type thing here are my options so i would love to hear your feedback i ultimately will do what's best for me of course but i love hearing your ideas and i very frequently um i do take your ideas to heart i'm just trimming this you guys just to get it to to uh flatten. Do I put my memory keeping for this year's go wild at the back of this planner? So everything from 2024 is in this planner or do I start a new notebook journal um, and have that be my go wild notebook slash journal thing? back plan or back decorate from 2022 and then I didn't go in 2023 but then put in 2024 and all future go wilds in that same book and as I say that out loud I'm kind of leaning towards a book that's for go wild versus my memories from go wild in the year but I don't know am I more likely to want to go back and look at my memories in in my go wild thing or am I more likely to go back and look at my memories from the year which includes go wild leave me a comment down below what do you think of what you know about me which do you think in the long run Elizabeth will not regret let me know because I need to start decorating and I I would like to make it into content and show you guys the assembly of my go wild stuff um but I I have been hesitating because I cannot um, I cannot pull the trigger. So I'm actually going to go up a little bit higher. Because for some reason, this, maybe because of the separation, that makes it look like it's further away. But something about this, having it attached to the waterline, probably because it is a straight line. This would be a straight line. Uh, oh, unless... Something's just not right about that. Hold on. There needs to be like closure. Maybe this is the closure. I do want the pink trees incorporated, but check out this one. Could this be like the end? Yeah, maybe this is the end. 
but I put trees behind it. Okay, hold up guys. We're gonna do some layering and hope it works. Cause I want this to make sense and I want pink. So we're gonna go back to that tree. Maybe not cause I don't know where I put it. Or maybe we go with this one, kind of like this one. It's a bit smaller of a sticker, but like, could that be like it's way up in the distance? You know what I mean? Hmm. It's a little weird, guys. I haven't pressed it down yet. I'm all about the illusion making making sense. Make it make sense. Can I go higher? And then make this one go lower. What if I trimmed this, made this a flat edge? Because technically you wouldn't be able to see the tree underneath. So do I... That actually makes more sense. Okay, so what I just did, hold on, we're gonna do a little, little surgery here. So I put some correction tape down so that I could see the top of that flower uh, reed thing. A little bit too much though. But I feel like that actually makes, so I'm just scraping, actually just scraping some of that off. You don't want too much. Kind of think that works. Ooh, it's a bit of a stretch. I'm locking it. I'm locking it in, guys. It's a little weird. It's a little weird. I mean, I could put another little tree here. Is more more or is more less? Less is more? Because I kind of want to add another pink tree. So could I add a pink tree like right here like would you all get the illusion that I don't know I think this is a bit of a stretch I could put something here put a pink tree here I'll just put that there and just to add a little bit of pink on this side I'm not sold on this, guys. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not sold. I don't know, it's kinda weird. Once you press them down though, it's pretty much, the fate has been sealed. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it, and in my mind, when I open up this week's spread, I will think of it as, this is whole area is a spring park, okay? Picture it with me. It's the park. You've got your ducks right in front of you and beyond that, when you're looking past the little duck pond, you've got trees past beyond the duck pond. Eh? Make it work, guys. We're gonna make it work. Okay, um, so I still haven't decided if this was going to be my meal stuff or if this was going to be, I think this is going to be my meal tracking up here. And then this is just free space for me to brain dump each day. Things that need to get done. So I'm going to take this pan. This is the uni one in the 0.38 and I'm just going to do breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks. So B, Ooh, my bees are very different. 
L. Here, we'll just do B for breakfast. And then L for lunch. I also really need to be tracking like how frequently I am ordering takeout or eating out. One of the things that just has not died since having Esther is my frequency of using like Uber Eats. And I know that it's not the most cost effective and uh, not often the most healthy, but it gets me through <laughs> where I don't have to like cook, um, which I'm really struggling with right now. So I want to be able to log like what days, you know, I'm, I'm eating out to really kind of have a heart check about whether or not it's too much. Cause I know it is. Okay. Um, I think I need or want some boxes. So we need to find some boxes that are going to match. And I'm guessing we should go with these ones since these are the colors we went with and maybe a yellow, the yellow. Um, these are just going to be extra boxes for just anything else that I want to log this week. Since I'm losing some of this space, maybe we'll go this way. Did we go wonky? Y'all know I love a wonky box. Put a wonky box there. And do we go with green and pink? Green there. And then we used the lighter pink. Do we use this pink? No, it was the last pink. We used the last pink. And we'll use last pink. And I will put that right here. Okay. Wonky boxes. So I've got all this open space where I can do vertical listing. I can log my food up here. Do we want to do any decorative planning? Let me grab, oh, I think we should have like some quotes like about the ducks. There were some cute duck quotes. I don't think I'm gonna decorative date. Did I already say that? Decorative plan, decorative date. Um, so we are looking for feed the ducks. No, there was there were cute, um, don't remember there were cute duck ones. Okay, mom, oh, there are no ugly ducklings. <gasps> oh, I love that one. There are no ugly ducklings. Yeah, this is a yes for me right here. There are no ugly ducklings. That's cute. That is real cute. I feel like I should do something up here, but no, I'm not going to. Uh, I just really like ducks. Do I want to put that somewhere? No, I think I want to leave this just as it is. Guys, I think this is it. This is all I'm going to do. I've got my meal planning stuff. I've got basically what this is going to be is just lists of stuff that I need to remember. Brain dump, maybe some call outs here. Um, oh, I do want to do some habit tracking this week. And somewhere, oh, hold on a second. We'll see if it's actually in my, this is my Levenger Soft Folio. I love this thing for Hemlock and Oak. Uh, links, affiliate links and whatnot are down in the description box. But somewhere in here, oh, I've got these ones, these habit trackers. I could take these icons too, these icon stickers. These are from um, cloth and paper. What do we think? Do a little step, step tracking moment. Sure. We do a little step tracking right here. Y'all, I need to be getting to the gym big time. Big time. I'm not even going to tell you. Well, yeah, I'm going to tell you because that's, <laughs> that's how I roll. We purchased a gym membership for me and Josh before the new year started. Uh... Josh has gone. I have gone 
zero times since we opened our me membership. <gasps> I'm out of steps. I'm out of these little, Ugh, such a tease. Um, maybe I'll just put this weight guy for Sunday. <laughs> I'll know what it means. Uh, Y'all, I have not gone once. Do we want to use like one of these guys? Yeah, let's do it. I'm going to use the black ones just to add a little bit of extra color or extra black. Since that quote is so black, I'm going to add this here. And let's do two. We'll do one here. And I'll just put a little, um, like an X underneath it, if it's been done. And for this, I want to put read. And we need to lower this a little bit. What's the other one we want to do? What do I want to track this week? <sighs> Order out. Here's the thing with this one, guys. Um, habit trackers can be for negative habits. <laughs> because this will be a very easy place for me to see how many times. It could be for lunch because we often order food at, um, at work. We order lunch. Uh, or it can be dinner. And then I can't deny, looking at this, how many times did I do it this week? So I'm really trying to be better about reading. So we got a little reading tracker. We got my ordering lunch for ordering out. I think that works. Let's see what this looks like all together. change out my pen it was brown brown ink and I guess I could technically use this pen this week so I'm going to clip this guy in and I think we're done friends I think we're done I have everything that I need for the week and it looks super cute I love it so this is my spread for the week using the spring essential sticker book really interesting book it's 40 pages and it's got tons of deco stickers, no matter what you're looking for for spring, pretty much everything is in here, plus memory keeping and functional boxes. So I think that is a really, really cool, I guess, design for a book, having basically essentially everything that you need. Um, so again, this just releases on Friday, February 23rd at 9 a.m. Central Time, and Joyful 10 will save you 10% off. So it is gonna be a little bit pricier because it's a, uh, a much bigger book, but Joyful 10 will save you 10% off. So if you decide to shop, I would love if you used my affiliate link. It doesn't cost you anything, but I would get a small commission off of your purchase, which just compensates me for the time it takes to put this together for you guys and to show off the product. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Don't forget to leave me a comment about whether or not you think that Go Wild memory keeping should be done in its own notebook or in the planner for the year that you attended. Let me know. I need to know. All right, friends, come hang out with me over on Instagram. My handle is the Joyful Sojourn. And if you want to hang out with me again and you want to see me assemble some Go Wild pages, then I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel. Until next time, friend, God bless you. God bless you and keep you. Do something creative today. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.